PC with the latest tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at um, <clears throat> Tai Chi uh, against Brazilian Jiu Jitsu just from a standing up position. Uh, there's an excellent uh, demonstration of this that I've, I've, uh, I've come across uh, that I think is uh, really really worth studying and, and taking a look at because there's a lot of subtle things that are going on um, that might not be apparent if you're not if you don't practice Wing Chun or, or the Chinese arts um, <clears throat> you might not really understand what's happening you might look at it and think oh well I'm just watching someone doing you know wrestling or, or judo or, or um, stand-up Brazilian jiu-jitsu whereas in fact like the the Tai Chi system and the Wing Chun system um, it, it are it, there's a lot of subtleties that you, you might be able to miss anyway this is a really good video this is um, uh, sports Tai Chi push hands uh, so this is um, uh, a friendly match between a Tai Chi push hands player and a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and so a couple of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu grapplers and um, they do this is a guy called the, the Tai Chi guy's guy called Jan Lucanus and um, he is using push hands um, to basically try to negate a lot of the strategies of the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu players so um you know again look a lot of combat is uh, about the rules the, 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 you know when you're practicing these things there are, there are only a certain amount of things that you can do and different rules are going to um basically are going to help uh, or or um uh, make someone's game better uh, depending on the rules you know so if a tai chi if if a jiu jitsu guy can't do any takedowns then that's going to uh, be disadvantage. He'd be at a disadvantage if the Tai Chi player, um, if everything's standing up, the it might benefit the Tai Chi player. So um, anyway, so this is a, a, a restricted match, um, where so they're using um, uh, this practice is using push hand rules, full full body grappling, put pushing out the ring for one point, two points for any throw, and has no ground fighting. Um, so the basically anyone for in this set of rules anyone can do a takedown but you can't there's not nothing that goes on on the ground so a tai chi player would be at a, at a disadvantage if it went to the ground because tai chi doesn't really have what well, has no ground game uh, that's where you Brazilian jiu jitsu specializes in okay anyway so let, we'll watch the video and I'll, I'll tell you what i'm looking at it's only a minute long so i'm going to play the video um right now and you're going to just take a look at what happens the tai chi player is in the white pants and the uh the BJJ grapplers are um, not are uh, there's two of them I believe so anyway just t take a look at so to the untrained eye this just looks like a lot of pushing um, but I'll go back we'll go back and review the video uh, shortly so Okay, so let's go back um, over and review that a little bit. So there's a lot of interesting things going on here that I'm going to try to point out. Um, so I'll just refer to them as Tai Chi player and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu player. So this is the this is the. Um, so if you look immediately how just how solid the Tai Chi player's base is, um, he's very 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 rooted to the floor. And he's pushing um, the BJJ player backwards, and the BJJ player doesn't really know how to respond to this. Um, and you see, he's getting pushed around, and he's the, the BJJ player tries to get back his base, and but he's having a hard time doing that. So therefore, you can see the the different rule set, which is really um, favors the Tai Chi person. Tai Chi in Tai Chi, you do you, you're trying to push the other guy backwards, and it's the same in Wing Chun. Uh, Wing Chun, you're trying to drive your opponent backwards to set up strikes. Uh, in Tai Chi, you're not necessarily trying to set up strikes. You're trying to push the opponent, uh, put them off balance or um, um, disrupt them and or throw them. Um, so Wing Chun is sort of a combination of the two. But anyway, so they're playing risk control here. So BJJ guys are very very good at this risk control. They try to they'll try to grab the other person's wrist. 
um, in order to grab a limb and to he's trying to arm drag him there. You can see the BJJ guy's trying to grab hold of an arm and arm drag him. Um, but he's having a problem with do, doing the arm the the arm pull here, or getting proper control because the Tai Chi guy is not actually he doesn't he's not interested in doing that and and has a, a whole kind of different philosophy behind um, uh, his approach to grappling. So we'll go back and look at that again. So you see the the the, the grappler tr is trying to grab hold of the wrist, trying to maintain control, and he he really has a hard time doing that. And I'll, I will explain why. Okay, so really, when you're with, with good tai chi or good wing chun, what you, the aim of what you're doing is to use your structure to disrupt the other person's structure. You're not trying to pull off a technique per se. <clears throat> Any good instructor will, will not have the the practitioner focus on pulling off a technique. What they will be doing instead is be focusing on creating proper structure. And learning how to disrupt the other person's structure so the Tai Chi player what he's doing throughout this whole thing is he's really focusing on um, uh, disrupting the, the the BJJ players uh, structure that's why he's pushing him back constantly um, and you can see at the end here he, he does he even gets off like a nice little sweep there which is it's great this is a really cool little sweep but he does that because he's got the guy off off balance right so he's um, he's the Tai Chi player is uh, he's got his underhook in here that's this is um, uh, you see this a lot in wrestling or, or BJJ right he this is an, an underhook here he's pushing the guy over and then sweeps his leg so um, you, you you know you could see that in you see that a lot in judo and you see that a lot in Tai Chi in, in Jiu Jitsu as well but it's it's so it's not um, exclusive to Tai Chi that 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 kind of move but it's um Nevertheless, he, he pulls it off because he manages to pull the BJJ guy off of his base. So, um, yeah, so what you're looking at here really is actually a really a very, very high level Tai Chi that's able to almost completely stuff um, all of the, the Jiu Jitsu guy's attempts at, um, at controlling his wrists, at arm dragging him, at taking him down. Um, the Tai Chi player is is so there's a slight difference also you'll notice in, in the footwork that the Tai Chi player uses the Tai Chi in, in Wing Chun we don't like to move around so much um, uh, and if we move if we move we're moving in a straight line um, in Tai Chi you'll see him moving around uh, quite a lot here and there see in, at that point there the Jiu Jitsu player is trying to go for a takedown okay so he drops his level you see he's going to go and try and go go down to to uh to, to to take him down but the tai chi player what he does is he has head control here so he's pulling the guy's head down and he shoots his hips back there so his hips are now back so this is where again like um you don't see this very much in wing chun because wing chun guys do not train this at all so that's why they get taken down a lot if you get seen up against any competent wrestler they have no idea how to hip out or, or to 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 um to avoid takedowns because they don't train it but you should train it and, and tai chi push hands um tai chi players know how to do this a lot better than wing chun players so anyway that's how he's stopping the he's stopping the takedown so the jiu-jitsu guy just can't grab his legs basically and the tai chi player actually arm basically does a kind of a version of an arm drag here so he grabs his and so you see the arm grabs in um um in tai chi a lot you pull the arm across. He doesn't do a he doesn't do a fantastic job there. He he more moves himself than the jujitsu player. But you you get the idea. Where you try to grab the arm, you tr what what he tried to do there um, is he tries to. I'll show you this again. Oh no, I think we missed it. Let's go back a bit here. The one is you see where he tries to do the arm grab here. So he grabs the arm. He grabs the 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 jujitsu player's right arm. He's going to try to pull pull the right arm across his body, like this, uh, and go to the side, which he does. But he he basically ends up moving himself more than he moves the jujitsu player. So <clears throat> what you'd really want to do is move the other player. At least from a Wing Chun perspective, when you do that kind of move, we we call that lap uh where you're pulling the other your opponent's arm across you and taking their blind side when you do that you want to be moving their body and not yours 
uh, for maximum efficiency. Because once you remember in, in Wing Chun, if you take your feet off the floor, if you move your feet, you're losing your structural, your connection to the floor. So you don't want to do that. But anyway, um, again, this is this is I'm nitpicking here. But the anyway, this is a very very again, like I said, it's a really sophisticated display of Tai Chi that might not look to the outside that it is. So this is here they're vying for for um, the, the underhooks, right? So th this is a little bit of a, a tussle because the jiu-jitsu guy is, 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 look, he's fighting to get his, his, his underhooks in. So that means he wants both of his, his arms underneath the Tai Chi player's arms and around his body. And if he can get that, so the Tai Chi player has it. See, the Tai Chi player has the he has his underhook in here like that. He's under the Jiu Jitsu player's arm here. So that means he has um, he's 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 able to uh, maintain his his structure here. If if the Jiu Jitsu player can get under that arm, uh, then it starts to get all get a bit dicey for the Tai Chi player. So you see. The, the jiu jitsu guys, yeah, he, 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 there's not much he's pulling off here. Yeah, he's getting completely shut down. Um, <clears throat> so, again, the point of Tai Chi, um, actually, they do, it's, they do a good job of writing about this in the description of this, actually. Um, so, if you look at what the, the description says here, it says Coach John Lucas uses the science of pushing to disrupt the takedown strategies of more sophisticated throwing arts than executed throws when they are off balance or winded. Um, so that's I think is a really good way to understand this that what Tai Chi and Wing Chun should be doing they are basically what they are disruptors right so they don't focus on techniques they don't focus on trying to throw you or trying to do any particular technique but what they're trying to do is disrupt your uh, opponents uh, attempts to um, throw you or whatever it might be um, and again so they make the point point here in, in the video actually that um, uh, one of the points that they make actually is um, uh, so therefore it's the, the learning push hands benefits every type of movement system especially grappling and football um, and I, I completely agree with this that uh, learning um, this system of uh, uh, learning Tai Chi or Wing Chun um, th these are these are core philosophies or concepts that you can then inject into other arts and make them more effective um I, they're more kind of they're, they're conceptual frameworks ways of understanding martial arts as opposed to a perfect style uh, so it's important i think it's really important that um, people who who practice these things understand that you're not looking at tai chi as being a complete system in of itself it's just it's like a kind of a, an engine you, know, you can use that as your engine then you can start adding to that engine so you can then the judo or jiu jitsu or wing chun or or, or grappling um uh, wrestling whatever you want um and and it will become more effective so i mean you could probably do that vice versa you, you know if you learn wrestling um as well uh you know if you had that as your base art it would be a very good foundation um <clears throat> but i i think that there's so much value in learning wing chun or tai chi as a sort of a, a, a as a kind of um the ultimate kind of fuel injection almost for all other arts uh it's definitely helped me understand um wrestling and jiu-jitsu a lot a lot better and also um a tight you know tight clinch and 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 boxing and what happens in boxing when you get into clinches and things like that as well uh, it's really helped me understand those a lot better and i think that the, the chinese arts have their philosophy is what's the you know that's what's so important um anyway so um definitely uh take a look at this channel this is it's a really good channel um I'll just go over and give you some more information. It is here we go. The sports tai chi push hands and and mindful wrestling they call it very aptly. So that's good. I would definitely check them out. And uh, excellent. I will see you guys in the next video.